my channel is where does that care and i'm finally back to do like a talk through type tutorial it's super late super late super late um you've probably already seen it or whatever um i did my face off camera in another video which will probably be just on my instagram which you should follow me on my instagram is snapchat about that world of zach so go ahead and get me on there because it's lit and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell like the bell beside the subscribe button like you just go over hit the subscribe button and you hit, click the bell on it so that way when i post you get notified so that way you can give this video a big thumbs up and promote it like it and all that stuff so yeah i'm done talking my hands because it's super extra because i'm about to just go ahead and get in tutorial um i just kind of wanted to do like some type of green look to just go with the whole vibes and um, get into my Fenty liner, which is like one of the main things I'll focus on with the holiday collection that the Fenty Beauty line, whatever what Rihanna came out with. Um, so yeah, hopefully the liner works out well. I can make it look good and we'll see. Um, and I also want to use my Jaclyn Hill palette, which I use like all the time because it's just like a tried and true of mine. It's my favorite. And yeah, I'll just be showing you guys how I'm doing this little, it's gonna, hopefully, Hopefully, it should be a really simple green smoky eye. That's the goal, a green smoky eye. I think it's perfect for the fall. I think that it's gonna be perfect for the fall, perfect for the holidays or whatever. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into it. So I already concealed my lids and primed them with my ColourPop concealer, which I tried using today. I actually really like it. Um, interesting thing about this concealer, it worked better when I applied it on my finger rather than using my Real Technique sponge, which is really interesting. And I put that on my lids as well. And then I set it with my Cody Airspine Grandma Powder. If you smell this, then you know why it's Grandma Powder, which I honestly don't really mind the smell, but whatever. So I said that already, did everything off camera. You'll see that on my Instagram video and all that stuff, whatever. If I post it, I will. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with, first off, my Morphe E27 brush and going into the Jaclyn palette. And since I'm doing like a really green look, I want my crease to be very warm-ish or whatever. It kind of contrasts with the green, something that goes well, something that goes really well with the green. So right now I'm torn between using these two colors. I know my palette's beat up because it is. But I think I'm actually gonna go in with this color right here and put that right into my crease with my Morphe E27 brush. So as you can see here, I'm just taking this color still, I haven't dipped back into the palette, and I'm just taking this all the way up, bringing it almost to my brow bone, just hitting all throughout the crease, bringing it out a little bit, all the way to the inner corner, and just, you know, getting that color nice and through. You see there, it already looks really good with the green. I'm really glad I went with that color instead of the deeper version, the deeper color. So that's literally all I'm gonna do for that right now. So now that I have my crease color set down, like that really warm, bricky, orangey color, set in the crease to transition everything, bring everything in color, whatever, I'm gonna go right into this forest green to just go ahead and deepen up my crease and make it pop with my Morphe E17 brush. And here we go. As you can see, I'm just applying that color legit directly right into the outer corner, just packing it in. And then I'm gonna bring it right into the crease area. Really nice and smooth like. As you can see, I'm bringing a color in on my lower lash line, but I'm not gonna take it all the way to the inner corner. I'm gonna bring it to just about like right here on my eye and stop there just to kind of elongate the eyes. I don't want to close them up. I want to keep them a little bit more open. I'm just taking a blank fluff. Now I'm just taking a blank fluffy brush from the brand Furless. Um, I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag this month. And we're just gonna pretty much use this to blend these together to make everything nice and blended like a little smoothie or whatever. So for just a little bit of glitter, glitz, and glam and stuff like that, I'm gonna take my angle concealer brush and pick up this really pretty shimmer green color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna wet my brush with Mario Badescu Rose Water Setting Spray. Just wet my brush up. You can wet your brush up with anything, but I'm just gonna wet my brush and go into the shade and just apply that on my lid. I'm not too worried about it being like a super cut crease or anything like that because the way my lids are set up, that just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So I'm just kind of like, you know, getting it where I want it, blend it out a little bit with the edge of the brush and kind of blend it into the smokiness 
as you can see. And it just goes on so pretty. And we're just using like the end of the brush to just blend everything together. And that's it, folks. Now let me do the other eye while my hair looking crazy. Be right back. Okay, so now this is the main event, the Fenty Liner by Rihanna. And I'm gonna be using the shade Later Crater to create just like a really dope sick wing to just kind of contrast with the look. These liners are really dope because you can either wear metallic or you can like scrub it off once it dries and it'll be super glittery, which is like revolutionary and so dope. So I'm really excited to try this. It's honestly probably gonna be really hard for me to film it. So it might just, I might just cut to me wearing it, having it on. You can check it out that way or whatever, but yeah. So, while my lash glue dries and stuff like that, I just want to go and come out here and say that um, this was the hardest liner experience I've ever had in my entire life. I struggle so hard with this. These wings, oh my God. If you do not know how to do liner, don't touch it only because if you're just doing no shadow in this, it's okay. But since I did this look, I messed up on this wing, which I'm pretty sure you can see. I tried to make it work the best I can. I mean, overall, it's not bad. I'm with it. I dig it. It came out really cool. I like the product itself. I like that. I wish I had kind of kept the color the way that it was before, but I want to see what it looked like wiped off in the glitter effect. And the glitter effect is super dope, but before it was like a nude, beigey pinkish color and the contrast with the green look beautiful so i will be trying that in the future once i get my liner skills better but i do like the product i think it's really dope it was just really tough to work with as far as like if you make a little mistake it's there when i put my lashes back on when i put my lashes on um hopefully the look still shows it was a struggle trying to find good lashes that won't show like that won't take over the eyes whatever so hopefully i chose a good pair we'll see but yeah, so the liner is a plus to me. I definitely suggest it. It's really cool. It's something I'm probably going to be using a lot. I think it's something really dope. So I feel like a superhero. So now the lashes are on and done. I'm going to go ahead with that same highlight I used for my cheeks, the Daisy and Katie Minute Maid highlighter, and go ahead and highlight my inner corners with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And I'm actually going to bring that highlight shade where I didn't bring the green. So just drag that in there. I just think that adding that highlighter to the lower lash line in the inner corner area just kind of ties the wing with everything and just opens up the eyes and makes everything pop even more. So to complete this look, I'm gonna go in my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Wolfie. And it's a metallic glossy lip, so I'm super excited about this. All right guys, so this is the completed look. I am obsessed with it. I had to change the hair because it just wasn't working right with the lighting and everything like that, and it just didn't go with the look. I feel like this hair, this style and everything like that, this half laid wig is just super chic. Like it just looks, I don't know, this looks so dope. Like I'm just ready to go hang out with Rihanna, you know, go to a Fenty event or whatever. Hello, hello. Like I'm like, you know, Fenty, call me or whatever, because I mean, Finesse, Jacqueline Hill, Morphe, you know, hit me up. <laughs> no, but really though, I love this look. I think the liner is really dope and I love this gloss from ColourPop. 
it's really pigmented, really pretty. I like like the gold reflex in this really burgundy ox blood color. Like it's just super dope. I'm loving everything about this. The smoky eye was super easy. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, really enjoyed this look, and really enjoyed me. Um, I'll have all the details down below in the description box and don't forget to head over to my snapchat and my Instagram for more details And just to keep up with me and tell me what you guys want to see next and everything like that Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and show love and support and let me know what you guys want to see Like I said already, you know, whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. I love you. I love you. Stay beautiful And I'll see you guys in my next upload